In this video, we're going to be exploring the iconic Easter Market in Detroit and first a little history on it and then what happens there year round. Let's do this. Easter Market was started in 1841 in Cadillac Square, now where it presently sits as a hay and wood market for local businesses and of course people who had horses that needed hay. Makes sense. In 1891, it was moved and expanded to its current location and renamed Easter Market, growing additional sheds and stalls right up to 1929, of course, when the Great Depression hit, and it almost wiped out the whole thing. They just about closed down. Right after World War II, wholesalers, food processors, and farmers moved in. In the 1970s, farmers started painting animals on their stalls, and most of those murals are still there today, and you can take tours to see them. I remember when I was a kid, not more than like six, seven years old, my father would get us up at four in the morning to get down there early when the farmers were just getting getting in to get the freshest fruits and vegetables and all of those things. Now, I didn't know at the time that during this time of day, chefs and restaurateurs all across Metro Trade came in too for the same reason. They wanted to get the best there was for their guests. The market covers 43 acres and is the largest historic public market district in the United States. Easter Market's also a selling point for a wide variety of produce, meats, spices, and other products. And it's particularly busy on Saturdays with over 40,000 people coming through just that day each week when farmers bring in their poultry and livestock as well, along with the fresh produce for sale. Now, although the market's the largest historic public market district in the U.S., the market itself is operated by the private sector with a public-private partnership, the Eastern Market Corporation. Now, the EMC, as we're going to call it, has operated the property since 2006, and since then, the market has renovated infrastructure. They've increased attendance and become a catalyst for development in the area itself. Although there's an official Detroit Lions tailgating at Fort Field, many people, myself included, prefer going to Eastern Market for the Lions home game tailgating. Now, local and international recognized art galleries and studios and makerspaces recently started establishing spaces nearby because of the amount of traffic there is, including the Red Bull House of Art, Omnicorp Detroit, and Interstate Gallery. Independent eateries and shops and performance spaces such as Antietam and People's Records have arrived at storefront spaces along Gresham Avenue, and light manufacturing and e-commerce retailers, including One next run and cyber optics continue to operate out of the upper floors at Easter Market. Now let's talk about a couple things to do there. Now the Trade Festival of Books is a free annual event which takes place the third Sunday in July at Easter Market and attracts over 10,000 attendees annually. But the biggest event yearly that draws the biggest crowd is the Easter Market Flower Day. Over 150,000 people come each year for the largest open air flower bed event of the year in Michigan. It was started in 1967 and has a tradition of torturing children and husbands every year year who don't want to go see flowers, but they also have live music to drown out the question, mom, can we go home yet? Now there wasn't live music when I was a kid, so my mom had to listen to the mom, can we go yet? Mom, can we go yet? Mom, can we go yet? For my sister and I, the flower market itself is over 15 acres big, and my mother, of course, wanted to explore each and every one of those acres. Now the farmers, they usually bring in produce, meats, and spices, leave for just one day, and give way to orchids and snapdragons and zinnias and geraniums and way more, none of which I can keep alive. And even if you don't purchase flowers, it's worth visiting Easter Market on Flower Day just to see what's going on down there. It happens the first Sunday after Mother's Day between 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. The Farmer's Market. Most farmer's markets in most cities have one, maybe two little areas where farmers set up shop, like in Rochester or Royal Oak. But Easter Market has several buildings across several blocks, making it the biggest and most diverse farmer's market in Michigan. The Saturday Market that's open year-round is the most popular one, with over 225 vendors selling fresh produce and meats and cheeses and baked goods and jams and jellies and livestock. Yes, you can get a go. All six sheds are open from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. The Sunday market changes things up a little bit with more of an artisan vibe with local jewelers and cooks and musicians and artists and more. The Sunday market runs from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. June through September. Newly redesigned Shed 5 is home to a commercial kitchen where food lovers of all ages can go and actually learn to cook. You can sign up for cooking classes. You can actually learn how to pickle vegetables, make pasta like the pasta itself, or make homemade ice cream. There are classes that are offered for both adults and children. These are market murals in the market festival has generated a lot of buzz since 2015, but it's not the only party in the neighborhood. Check out the market's website for a list of the best that include beer festivals and harvest galas and booger battles and taco cook-offs and flea markets and nighttime happy hours. And the tours. There are a couple ways to tour around Easter Market. The market itself has a walking tour with walking tour guides on hand that are super knowledgeable about both the history and where to get the best crepe on site, where to go to get lunch, and there are a ton of options there, by the way. Preservation Detroit Easter Market tours take you on a journey back to the area of rum runners, breweries, prisons, graveyards, and horse-drawn carriages, and of course, the Underground Railroad, which was part of the Easter Market. It's a great way to find out what makes the district so fascinating. The Wheelhouse Detroit Tour takes you on a bike tour around Easter Market, exploring all the food and seeing where a lot of the agriculture actually comes from. Last and probably the most fun is the Feet on the Street Tour by a lady named Linda. 
She gives a tour to and around all the historic sites in the city, including Easter Market, and also her Come Hungry, Leave Happy strolling brunch tours have gained a lot of popularity. She does tours around Capitol Park, Midtown, Cass Corridor, Easter Market, and she'll actually create a custom tour for you, and her link is also in the description. Last thing I gotta mention, our two of my favorite clothing shops are here on site, one of them being Detroit Hustles Harder, and the other one, Detroit vs. Everyone. Both are fantastic shops and of course are locally owned. My name is Mike Fern, I'm a local real estate agent that loves Metro Detroit and loves making videos about Metro Detroit. Subscribe to be notified when our next video drops, and if we can help you find a home or sell your current home, give us a call anytime and see you on the next video.